Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you do end up liking the video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. So as you can see, new things are happening over here. And I am using the Elevated Life Co. Uh, workbook Duo, Budget Workbook Duo. And we're gonna get to setting up January. And I know it is not yet January, but the best way to create your budget is really doing it before the month begins. And so the first thing that I do is I'll write in what is expected to occur in that month. So this is undated. So I will be putting in the dates. I will be writing in when bills are due and we're going to make it pretty, you know, because why not? Why not make it super fun? Because personally, when something is fun and you know it's it's really pretty to look at you want to open it up you want to use it and so the good thing about like budget planning is you customize it the way that you want and so today i will be showing you how i am going to be customizing my workbook duo and i hope to give you ideas i hope to give you inspiration so let's just get into this so i will be using I have a couple of things laid out. I honestly have no idea. Like I haven't, I have a thought of how I want this to be set up, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. So I hope you guys enjoy and you stick around and you're just inspired. So I have um, some Happy Planner sticker books. I've had these for quite a while and I did mark up what, <laughs> a couple of things that I want to use. So first thing we have to put dates. But before, I did want to do one thing. So in this planner, when you flip, you have the tabs and when you flip, it opens up to this page, but I actually want it to also open to the calendar. So I have this double-sided tape. I just wanna tape this so that way it can also include the calendar. And we're just gonna let it, we're gonna let it fall. All right, so now when I open up January's tab, it's gonna have the calendar. So I just wanted to, you know, add that in here. And now let's go ahead and add in the dates. So in this sticker book, there's um, different things in here, but I wanna use these dates the number stickers i hope look at how there's like a variety of colors and i think i'm going to be using we'll just go black oh let me uh silence my phone we'll just maybe go with the black numbers and we're gonna go from there i don't have tweezers so i'm gonna do this maybe it is easier to just write it in but if i have stickers why not use them am i right or no <laughs> so let's speed this up it's gonna take me a while but for you it's gonna take just a few seconds Whew, guys it definitely is so much quicker to just write in the dates yourself <laughs> but we got our dates in okay so now I have that and now I want to get to just writing in the bills decorating the sidebar here and just so you know, there's a section for you to write in goals. I will definitely be using that. And then over here, it has the categories where you can write in your specific like variable spending and actually track them on the calendar spread. But since they have this over here where it says every day, what did you buy? So you can track your spending over here and then also mark in your weekly check-in there. So because it's in the weekly and that's typically the style of tracking that I do is by the weeks. Um, I'm gonna stick with writing down my transactions for my variable spending, what I take or what I spend with my cash envelopes, along with any unbudgeted transactions. I will be tracking it here on the weeks and not here. So I like to have it be super pretty and I'm going to be covering up um, some of these having there's some stickers that have like inspiration 
So I will be putting those in here and just decorating it, making it look super, super pretty. So of course we have to write in dates and bills and let's zoom you guys in to get up close and personal. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this. So how is it that you typically like to decorate your planner? Do you decorate your planner or like what is, <laughs> honestly don't even know how how to be so bear with me guys i'm still getting situated with this so i have my bills written in on my phone just because it's it's easier that way oh my gosh it doesn't start on a sunday it starts on a saturday you guys i just laid down these stickers and i did it wrong you all probably are like what in the world lizzie the first is not on sunday i don't know what i was looking at it starts on Saturday. <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna just take out all of these stickers and we're gonna start over. So I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, since the dates are off, let me go ahead and write in the correct dates. And it's a Saturday start date. So good thing I didn't actually write, <laughs> I didn't write it in. So let's just go ahead and write in 31 numbers. So I wrote in my dates that are correct. Now let's get into decorating. So first thing, I wanna make a note of um, some bills and well actually let's let's decorate the, the sidebar here. So on the sidebar, I wanna use, I saw some of these like inspirational quotes in this uh, sticker book here by the happy planner and they had like some really cute mo motivational stickers here they're really cute and I like this one um, I've actually said this many times just because it's on sale doesn't mean you need to buy it so that's that's a good one uh, buy less choose well I really like this one so I'm gonna just Keep that there but there's also this that I really like too which are these little this is the um, squad goals uh, seasonal I had this again I've had this for a really long time so I don't know if I'm gonna use these maybe maybe on the weekly I can use it I really like these I think I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this one down <laughs> And like I told you, I'm gonna cover up this just because I personally don't do that um, on the monthly. And so you can already see, sorry if my head is like in the way, but I might have to like layer this because, can you see the lines? Not really. Okay, that's not too bad but I don't like that you can see this purple. So I actually, oh, please don't ruin. I think I might layer some colorful boxes on here underneath. Oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna reuse that, but I have these colorful, colorful boxes. Let's just layer. I feel like, Okay, that one covers. Let's see how it looks now. All right. Okay. I'm going to like put layers on top of this. 
because it's crooked. It's a little crooked, but I am not going to stress over. You know what? We'll just cover it. We'll cover it with... See, I want it to be solid, though. So a trick that I had seen is that the way that you can make this transparent look solid is to put it on a white paper and then just stick it. So I have printer paper here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this. And we're gonna cut. And just cut around. two-sided tape and we're just gonna place this to make it not look so uneven. I think that's cute. Collect moments, not things. So I think I'll put you there. I guess I can put some stars and like these leaves. I will get better at using paper planners again. So just stick with me guys, stick with me. Okay, so on to writing in the bills. Let's add in the bill that's due on the first, which is rent. I'm not gonna mark in like, oh, New Year's day or anything, not in this planner at least. So I saw these in this sticker book, they're like, bill due stickers and you can check when it's paid. You'll write in the amount. So I'm gonna use these. We have our rent due and guys, there's gonna be like some changes happening and I'm gonna just alternate the colors of these stickers by the way. Um, so, and I wonder, should I like overlap them? I've seen people do that and that is super cute. I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna overlap some stickers over here so we'll kind of like overlap it hopefully it's straight so you'll kind of hear me fade in and out once i get to planning and decorating i kind of zone out and i forget that i'm filming so <laughs> sorry if you do not hear me explaining what is going on i know that we have an electric bill due, obviously. And the thing is, is that the electric bill varies. So like in December, it was on, it was on Thursday, the 9th of December, it varies. So I never know when it's actually due. So I'm not gonna put down the electric bill sticker, but I will put down the water bill sticker because I think that's on the 12th. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So let me put in, Car insurance on this day. I guess I'll put. Oh, cool. And then the eighth or eighteenth, we have our insurance. I think I'll use this like purple color, and we'll put you down here. So we have a couple of other bills here. So the 20, let's see, 26th, I have a bill that's due. 28th and 29th, we have bills. So 
I'll put you here. Like I'll put you up here. Like overlapping a little bit. All right, some of these look kind of crooked. Um, I am still missing one, and again, it is my electric bill. So we'll just see if it truly falls on this day. If not, hopefully I could just move it. All right, so let's just write in the bills now that we're, well, should I write in the bills or should I just keep decorating? Let's keep decorating. Okay, so I think I wanna add in some of those squad people on the side. places stars we'll just put these in random places oh live slimly I like that there's just so much going on over there I'll put you over here Oops, slimly. I'll oh, see these are cute too to like put it in. Okay, payday. These are really cute. So we got paid Fridays. I don't want to take up so much space. So I think I'm going to use these, these stickers to represent payday. Because since we're on payroll now, we have it scheduled so that way we can get paid every week. Let's make it like that. And this is more like functional, like I'm trying to make it cute, make it pretty, but it is also a functional planner. So you hopefully get that feel. So let's go ahead and write in the bills. So first one is rent, and I'm probably gonna add in some something right here too, I don't know. So we have rent, and at the moment, rent is $1,500. The sixth, we have our phone bill, and that's $88. I'm just rounding up there. And then we have our iTunes, that's 99 cents. <coughs> Spotify is fourteen seventy five. <laughs> fourteen seventy five, I think. Seventy two. Over here we have our Disney pass and that's thirty six sixty six. We have our ID theft and that's twelve ninety. Here is what we're just gonna project is our electric bill. I do not have the total amount. So I'll just leave that blank. And then the 12th is, oh, let me flip this. This will be our water bill. I don't have the bill for that, so I'm gonna leave that blank as well. On the 15th is our car insurance. And our premium actually dropped because we're safe drivers. <laughs> so it's 88.89 a month for that. Our hope would be to be able to pay like for a six month period. Over here we have our life insurance, one of our policies. Sorry if you hear the noise, my husband's doing something in the kitchen, um, but I just really wanted to set this up. So life insurance, 1270. Let's see, we have nothing over there. We have our iTunes. So one is for my husband and then one is for me. It's just the extra storage and on the last I know this is our monitoring, and that's $15.99. The 26th is another one of our life insurance policies, and this one is $17.70. Oh, that's loud, sorry. $17.78. And then we pay MediShare. MediShare is, sorry, he's making a lot of noise. Um, MediShare is like an alternative to health insurance. And since I'm no longer employed and my husband, he works for himself, we had to find an option for like 
some sort of a coverage. And so MediShare is what we use and internet is $17.99. And I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna have to do a voiceover and maybe speed this up just to make it a little bit more entertaining, I guess. All right, voiceover Lizzie coming at you. We are starting with the goals section. First goal for the month is to focus on going on weekly date nights, me and my husband. It seems like time is just getting away from us and we're getting focused on other things when the most important thing is our relationship with each other. So I really want us to make a more of an effort to go on weekly date nights together. It doesn't necessarily need to be spending money or anything like that, but as long as we, you know, stay focused and committed to each other. And then the other goal that I had wrote down was to keep contributing um, to investments in retirement. And if you don't know, I've been a part of that dollar challenge brought to us by Mommy Trader. So I would definitely jump on that bandwagon to just keep going, saving and investing and all of that. So I definitely want to make a focus on that. So as you see here, I'm working on the weekly spread and how I did this is I kind of changed it up after I filmed this just to let you know because I realized the paycheck budget is on the page prior to this one. So how I switched it up and you might see it on IG, but I am actually starting the week on the payday and working like, so it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Up until the next time I get paid. And that just to me seems way easier to be able to track the spending from payday to payday. So it's actually starting on the 31st when I get paid up until the following paycheck. So it stopped recording when I was putting this together, but at the top I have this savings transfer sticker where at the end of the week when it's time for payday, which is on Friday, and I actually should write in a pay, put in a payday sticker. I put in payday. All right, so Friday is payday and I do my cash stuffing on Friday. On this day, I don't think I will just because with New Year's and everything, it'll be kind of hard. Actually, I think I might put in a New Year's sticker here. Should I do that? Hmm, let's do that. And that <laughs> is what caused me to continue laying down stickers. So you're gonna see me continuing to decorate this weekly spread. And at the bottom, I'm just making like a little border looking greenery scene. I don't know what this is, honestly. It just kind of took over. So what's nice about planning and decorating is that you can just make it personal and have fun with it. You know, it it's not gonna be perfect all the time, but as long as you're just finding joy in it, I think that that's what makes it so, so fun. So this is all set um, on my weekly spread and I did want to add in some like snowflakes and different things over on the monthly just because I felt like it was lacking. I, I honestly, I had no clue what I was doing to be honest, but I was just having fun. And I hope that you guys decorate your planner spreads. If you use this particular workbook, definitely tag me, tag the Elevated Life Co. on Instagram and follow me over there if you haven't already because I am posting some inspiration in hopes that you can get your planner started and really focus on budgeting. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys right here in a brand new video. Bye guys!